Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. Last December 8, we just celebrated the Immaculate Conception of Mary. And in February 11, 1858, Mary appeared uh, to St. Bernadette Subiru in uh, Lourdes, France. Mary didn't say to St. Bernadette, I was immaculately conceived, but rather, I am the Immaculate uh, Conception. And if you think about it, the former title seems to be more proper than the latter, okay? And because Mary was immaculately conceived. In other words, through a special grace from God, she was conceived in the womb of her mother, St. Anne, without any stain of original sin, by the foreseen merits of her son. So the question that we have to ask ourselves is that, why does she make the grace she received at her conception her very name? Doesn't this almost seem as if she were making herself divine? And uh, so these two questions are the questions that St. Maximilian Kolbe would ponder for many decades. And uh, I'm reading this from the book 33 Days to Morning Glory by Father Michael Gately. So two hours before uh, St. Maximilian Kolbe uh, was arrested by the Nazis, she w he was able to find a solution okay. to that uh, divinity problem. So St. Maximilian Kolbe believed that there are two immaculate conceptions, Mary and the Holy Spirit. Mary is the created immaculate conception and the Holy Spirit is the uncreated immaculate conception. So in other words, before there was the created immaculate conception, which is Mary, for all eternity, there is the uncreated immaculate conception, which is the Holy Spirit. Uh, spirit. So to reconcile this title of Mary as the um, uh, I am the Immaculate Conception, it has to do with the union between the Holy Spirit and Mary. Uh, Saint Maximilian Kolbe wrote, in what does this life of the Spirit in Mary consist? Hol the Holy Spirit lives in the soul of the Immaculata, in the depths of her, of her very being. He makes her fruitful from the very first instant of her existence, all during her life and for all eternity. The eternal immaculate conception, which is the Holy Spirit, produces in an immaculate manner divine life itself in the womb or depths of Mary's soul, making her the immaculate conception, the human immaculate conception. And the virginal womb of the Mary's body is kept sacred for him. There he conceives in time, talking about Jesus, the human life of the man God. So if among human beings the wife takes the name of her husband because she belongs to him, is one with him, becomes equal to him, and is with him the source of new life, with how much greater reason should the name of the Holy Spirit, who is the divine immaculate conception, be used as the name of her in whom he lives as uncreated love, the principle of life in the whole supernatural order of grace. Because Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit, Mary also takes that name, okay? The Immaculate Conception. Now you know why Mary calls herself as the Immaculate Conception. God bless. The Living Saint, Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you.